What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Smart Reframe inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. A lot of you may be wondering why would I need to use Smart Reframe? In the world we live in with TikTok, Instagram, and vertical video going basically everywhere, it's very popular. A lot of clients have even asked me to do these kinds of videos. It's something that you need to be able to do on a fly and quickly. I still recommend shooting the video actually vertically. I did a video, I'll link it up here in the description below that talked about how to set up your timelines vertical and went in more detail than I'm going to do on this. However, sometimes you you're shooting a commercial and the client doesn't tell you that they want you to actually have a vertical video as well. That's where Smart Reframe is gonna come in and save your butt. Instead of having to crop it and move it and try to keep certain things in the image, the computer is gonna make your job so much easier. Let's load up DaVinci Resolve and we'll get going. So I have a whole bunch of clips of some people walking the streets, just had a really cool vibe to it and thought this would be perfect for the test that I want to do. So the first thing we need to do is make a timeline. So I am gonna create a new timeline right here uh, and I am going to uncheck the project settings. We're gonna go to the format and we're gonna change this to be vertical, which is 1080 by 1920. It's really easy to remember because you're just reversing the numbers. We're gonna hit create. That's gonna create our vertical one right there. I'm just gonna jump back into my timeline of things that are already edited. I'm just gonna hold Command C on a Mac, jump in here and paste them by hitting Command V. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be messing with the Smart Reframe. That is over here under the inspector, Smart Reframe. This thing is actually really good. Uh, so let's pick an easy clip. Uh, this one right here where all the teenagers are here. We can make sure we're on auto. We'll get to reference point here in just a second where you just have to hit reframe. It'll reframe and do its thing. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna be looking at this and going, that's not reframed, nothing happened. The reason I held off on showing you what a lot of you guys need to know is this exact reason. So I'm gonna hit Command Z just to get rid of that. We're gonna go into our timeline settings right here. What we need to do is we need to make sure that we have scale full frame with crop. We're gonna click that and hit OK. Now it's gonna have, everything is gonna to stretch to the entire image. This smart reframe will not work if we do not have that setting selected. So again, timeline settings, make sure we're under this part right here and we are looking for scale full frame with crop. If it's not, then it's not gonna cover the entire image right here. Now, what we can do is we can click on this. So let's just get back at the beginning. We can hit reframe, it goes really fast. We're gonna play that through. That actually looks pretty good. If we wanted, we could actually highlight all of these and we could also hit reframe and it's gonna do all of them. You can watch that through, see what that looks like. I think that looks pretty good. It's doing a really good job keeping these in the middle. Uh, I think, yeah, that's actually doing really well. Now, if we click on the keyframes, you can actually see where it's dropping these frames in. So if we actually needed to, we could go in and adjust these, um, but I, I think it does a pretty good job. Every once in a while, it'll start bogging down or maybe be a little jumpy, depending on how the camera movement is, but this is all really smooth gimbal work, so it looks really good. Now, I wanna show you guys the reference point uh, because I don't like how it's got this guy right here. I got no problem with it, but the story seems to be around this girl right here. So we're gonna kind of make it be more around her. So I'm gonna click on this individual clip right here and I'm actually going to reset it. So I'm gonna hit this right here at the top, the keyframes. So it is just the way it was before. That actually looks fine right there. Sometimes you don't need to do this, but I do wanna track her a little bit better. So I'm going to find where she's in the frame. Right here, again, under Smart Reframe, instead of Auto, I'm gonna hit Reference Point, and then I'm gonna click this box right here, or we can go over here where Smart Reframe is, and we can hide it or click it right here, and it'll show it. I'm gonna draw it to where it relatively is around her, something like that. I think she'll be fine and I am going to hit reframe. Now it's gonna do a better job keeping her in the frame itself. 
We watch that through. It does a way better job tracking her than just having it roughly where it was, and it doesn't have that guy there. We're gonna do the same thing on this one. I am just going to reset on transform. I am going to hit reference point, hit our reference point. I'm gonna draw the box around her and I'm going to hit reframe. It's gonna do its job, it's gonna play it through, and now it stays focused on her. This is definitely something you guys are gonna to wanna to play around with and see what works best for you. Again, like I said, sometimes you don't need those keyframes. It really just depends on the footage you have and what you're going for. There you go, guys. That's how you use Smart Reframe inside DaVinci Resolve. If you like this video, it helped you out. Give me a thumbs up and drop a comment below letting me know that you dug it and you wanna see more videos like this. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. If you're new here, subscribe or don't, you know. See you next time. Peace.